Hello, my name is Greg Burke. I'm an off-site trainer here with Golden Quest. I am here with my, my training partner, Rosie. Rosie is tattooed number NU8. She is uh, 10 weeks old and we've been training together for two weeks now. And uh, she is a comfort retriever. So uh, we will be doing some training uh, exercises here today and we'll see what we can get Rosie to do. Rosie, come! Good girl. Down. Down. Stay. Good girl. I've been able to actually get a little bit of distance on her stays. And um, so we're working our way back and back and, and trying to get her uh, good and, and into her stays. So, Rosie, great. If you remember last week, I could not get her to go into her, her crate on cue. She would go on a regular basis on her own just uh, to hang out and um, play with her toys or whatever. But now she's, she uh, goes in very nicely and uh, obeys the command. So we'll... Rosie, free! Good girl. Rosie, place. Awesome. Good girl. Good girl. So Rosie likes her place. She goes over uh, and hangs out in her place to hang out with her toys and, and things like that. She will um, take naps in her place. And she's generalized place to a couple of different um, pet beds and, and does a really good job. Free. Rosie, touch. Good girl. Good girl. Rosie, touch. Good girl. Yes. Rosie's starting to do her command, her behaviors for the commands a little bit quicker than what she had. Stay. No. Good girl. Good girl. Um, she's starting to understand what no means. As you can see right there, she got the no command and she was set right back down. Um, so, stand. Stand. Good girl. Yes. Um, Rosie's doing a really good job of learning her commands and her behaviors and, um, and doing, doing what we need her to do. So, under, under, there you go, good girl. So, the under, um, we want to get her all the way back underneath of our feet. Uh, that way she's out of, um, out of out of way of getting possibly getting stepped on while you're at the restaurants or uh, out at the park or just out basically out in public it gives her a place to to be safe and to not have to worry about getting um, getting stepped on so um, she does a really good job of staying in in the under area um, especially if you're uh, in the office working she will um, come in and hang out underneath your feet and we get a lot of exercise out of that. Um, she will also take her naps in, in between your feet also. So, Rosie, free. Rosie, finish, finish. Sit, sit. So we're working on the finish move, which gets us into the heel position. Finish, sit, ah, oh, there you go. And this is the exact position we want her in, sitting next, right next to your foot. Uh, and, that, and that's also the, a good position for when you're in heel. Rosie, Rosie, free. Good girl. So we'll try to get her to heel here for us. Rosie, heel. Heel. Rosie, Rosie, heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Every time we stop, we would like her to get into a seated position. And that's why I'm rewarding her when she sits. So, good job. Free. So, as you can tell, Rosie's doing a really good job. Um, she's worked a ha really hard this week. Um, gotten a lot better at her stays uh, for distance and distraction. Uh, let, me know, let me tell you, there's a lot of distraction around here. Um, she... Um, has done everything that I've asked her to. So uh, she's getting really good and quicker at giving, giving me the responses and the behaviors. Oh, did I forget you? Did I forget you? Stand. 
Good girl. Good girl. Free. Uh, Rosie's uh, potty training is going very well. I guess uh, she's had very few accidents in the house still. Um, she's actually had a couple of days where she's had zero, um, zero uh, accidents. Um, when we go outside and she, we give her the, the go potty cue, she, she goes quickly. And as you can tell, she's, she's very intent. Uh, she's very focused when we're training. Um, she, she does a good job of listening to me and looking at me. Um, Rosie, look. Look, yes, good girl. Um, she does get distracted, but she's young and that's, that's normal. We're working on that. Um, like I said, we have a, a lot of distractions around here and uh, we, we try to work through them. Uh, potty training at night. She's sleeping through the night as she has since about the first or second day since she's been here and um, she's had zero accidents in her crate. So what we will be doing uh, going forward is I'll be finding reasons to leave the house to let her spend a little bit of longer time in the uh, in the crate so that we can uh, get her to hold her bladder a little bit longer and and learn that that that's that is uh, uh, something that she needs to do. Uh, we, we use the crate as, as a, a tool due to the fact that they don't like to go uh, uh, and release in, her, in their crates. So uh, once again, she's doing a fantastic job. Um, we are doing really good on the, the leash outside. Um, and also with regards to the potty training, we've had the, uh, the, uh, the cold snap that came through here. Uh, we had it down to uh, around uh, five degrees, and there wasn't a single time where I took her outside and she did not go to, to potty when she needed to. Uh, she didn't balk at being in the cold doing that, so I think that's a, a, that's a, a good thing to, uh, to hear also, since she's going to be going to up, up around Washington State. So, um, once again, she's doing great. Love working with her. And I uh, will be giving you all a, a, another uh, video here next week. So thank you. And have